Ron DeSantis wants to ban funding of diversity, equity, and inclusion programs at higher educational facilities around the state. And this move is raising concerns from one University of North Florida professor who believes this could lead to job cuts and ultimately hurt students. On your side, Satya Collins took a look at that proposal today. And Atia, what does this mean for universities here in our area? Well, Anthony, it could mean less money for student diversity programs or a decrease in inclusion events on campuses. These are programs that are meant to assist new students and students of diverse backgrounds, and that's why this is so controversial. Our state universities are being used as a political football. University of North Florida political science professor Nick Seabrook believes Governor DeSantis' higher education reform bill is all about politics. The governor has pledged to stop universities from funding diversity, equity, and inclusion programs and critical race theory initiatives. At a news conference held Tuesday, the governor said these programs are used to impose ideological conformity to try to provoke political activism. I reached out to the governor's office and asking if his team conducted any studies or surveys that would show the need for reform, and if not, what evidence is he basing this decision off of? I had not heard back from the governor's office, but Tuesday he did say, People want to see uh, true academics and they want to get rid of some of the uh, political window dressing that seems to accompany all this. 28 Florida State Colleges, part of the state's Council of Presidents, unanimously agreed to end all discriminatory DEI and CRT initiatives by February 1st, including the Florida State College of Jacksonville. In a statement, leaders there say they have reviewed personnel and determined that our work with students, faculty, and staff has been in line with the COP statement. Seabrook believes for many colleges, there is no proof of any problem with DEI programs. We're seeing this legislation because the governor is ambitious, wants to run for president, and he knows that this is uh, an issue that appeals to the conservative base. At this time, this is just a proposal and legislators will have a chance to review it in the March session this year. In the studio, Tia Collins, First Coast News on your side.